Surge of Puerto Rico continues here in South Florida with part of the mass exodus to the U.S. mainland beginning to arrive. CBS 4's Ted Scouten is live at Fort Lauderdale Hollywood International Airport tonight. And Ted, you had a chance to speak with some of those people who are desperately trying to get off the island. What did they tell you? Well, Ruta Bay, uh, people were telling me they're very grateful that they were able to get on flights to get out of Puerto Rico. There's just a handful of flights going out of the airport there. That's because radar and communication were knocked out, so very few flights are getting out, and it's difficult to leave the island. Hi, Mommy. Hello. It's that airport reunion six days in the making, but those six days were long and frightening for those on the ground in Puerto Rico. Hurricane Maria hit nearly a week ago. Mariana Ramirez was finally able to catch a flight out. I thought I couldn't get out. The line was so big, so big, so long, so long. Everybody trying to get over. This is what the airport in San Juan has looked like for days. There's no AC and it's packed with people hoping to catch a flight, but that's not easy. Only a handful of flights are allowed out each day. The communication and the infrastructure is not up to par to be able to handle what they usually do. So they restricted the, the airplanes coming in. To get as many of those people on planes as possible, American Airlines is flying in larger jets. We flew in our biggest airplane, a 777, and we just packed it with relief supplies, with volunteers, and we got it over there. And then it literally sits on the ground for two hours to unpack it, to unload everything, get the passengers on, and get them out of there. Jerilee's Kaiser is grateful she got out. She waited hours at the airport before getting onto a flight to Fort Lauderdale. It's really hot and a lot of people. Jerilee's and her family are glad she was able to get out when she could. She successfully made it through cancer treatment, but she still needs medical attention. We finally got her on a flight. That's the most important thing. I was worried about her. Everyone's been worried. It's, it's, it's like out of, out of a horror movie right now. I mean, it's, it's bad. No water, no food, no electricity. And the airlines tell us that the people who are getting out are those who already have a ticket. So they're telling us that you can't just go to the airport and expect to buy a ticket there and get out that way. Uh, so far, two flights have made it into Fort Lauderdale today. Another one is supposed to come in this evening. Miami International got one flight. Live at FLL, Ted Scout, CBS 4 News.